The research released the first fuck about the Codex Supplement Blood Angels 2024 for the 10th edition of Warhammer 40k Leviathan, the 16th October 2024. And he had to make some reflection about because, first of all, the Codex, the official release of the Codex of the Blood Angels is the 19th October 2024. Moreover, okay, there has been the part related about uh, the army set of the Badans that has been yet released. So, okay, I can maybe understand. Still, uh, there has been also with the part of the Monitorum, also the change of the points of the unit. So, it has not been even brought uh, on the battlefield and so on, and has been yet changed the point even before the codex is officially released because uh, you have to take note that the official releasing it's when the normal codex it's up to everyone not the army set and anyway it's really been quite a few time and has been yet changed the points for almost all the units little changes maybe but all the units seen changes oh i don't like at all such thing because uh, it's something that uh, make even less valuable the codex itself. And just to notice, I'll bring the codex review. Anyway, we go to see about the changes that are about. So we have about the detachment restrictions. So we had to add to the ones that you had to add the following restriction to each detachment. So your army can include blood ends unit, but it can include any other to start units drawn from any other chapter. I think that uh, it's uh, normal because there is the off of momentum. Okay, still uh, okay. Then have the death of the sky stratagem that has been changed. So in your movement phase, uh, just after an adeptus starts uh, jump back unit from your army, advance or fall back, that unit adeptus starts jump back unit. Okay, it's only about the jump back once. Okay, I can understand in some way because it technically differs from the sky, so I can understand, but uh, it uh, avoids, for example, the Terminator. Understandable. So then we have the Sangani Guard, the War Gear Option section, first and second bullet points that has seen any number of models instead of uh, all models, can each have uh, their Encarmenian Blade replaced in one Encarmenian Spear, so you can adapt as you want. And then for every three models in this unit, one model is uh, Angel's Ball Gun can be replaced with one Inferno Pistol. Instead, before it was one model in all the unit. So if you had a unit of six, uh, it would have a single Inferno Point Pistol. Instead, now you can have two. Even if uh, I find it uh, really quite limiting because uh, technically before it was all the models. Okay. Okay. And I've had two facts. Can I use the Sanguinous Miraculous Severability ability to set up within engagement range of two or more enemy units, provided at least one of those enemy units made a charge move this phase? And they say yes. So it's really quite important because it means that not only can arrive on the battlefield, but also be put in engagement range so make combat. So quite important as Finger to clarify, then can the Sanguinor arrive from the reserve during the first battle round using its miraculous save ability? And say yes, provide the mission rules you are using, don't state otherwise. If you are using the Leviathan or Paria Nexus mission, for example, that is no, so useless. Because uh, if you refer about the rules for the mission, uh, technically it's for all the things. Because uh, okay. Really, something that as usual, uh, it's uh, under pair, this one. So, okay. So, these are the fuck that really you can think of what you want. Sincerely, about the Sanguine Guard, I think that they're okay. The part about the Death from the Sky, I think that it was predictable, so it's not a problem. The detachment restriction, okay, it was obvious. And the fact about the Sanguine are simply to avoid as imminent standing, and so it's something that. Uh, it's uh, nice that has been done. Still, uh, I want to remember you that these are facts that are brought even before the codex is released. And the thing that I hate most, it's the fact that has been the change of point. Because uh, it means uh, that uh, 
or they haven't done any playtest or simply they don't care because you can't change one of the base part of the codex before you even release this. Sincerely, I'm starting to think that uh, I'm completely agreeing with the strategy that are doing for the Age of Sigma, where the battle tone doesn't have with the fourth edition, the battle point included, and you can download them separately and you can find them on the app without any problem. Because if you think about it, they continue to change, so it's useless to point them on the codex or the battle tone and then having them completely useful, useless, so don't put them. Really, I am really quite starting to think that uh, it's better to put uh, the points free, available, and uh, avoiding such uh, problematic ones. So tell me what you think about, because I think that uh, it can be really quite a discussion topic that can be developed. So tell me what you think about. Anyway, from the end mode, it's everything. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell so to receive notification about new video, to comment under here about this video or if you want to suggest me new videos. So, I hope to see you again to the next time.